Welcome to The Daily Writer, where we share lessons each day to help you cultivate the habits for creative success. It's natural for us to talk about our successes and triumphs. And why shouldn't we? Those naturally put us in a good light. They show people that we're competent and worthy of respect. It's not quite so natural to talk about our mistakes and our failures. We always run the risk of disappointing people or of coming off as less than perfect. We're afraid people will think less of us. Truthfully, though, none of us is perfect. And whenever we see another writer become vulnerable enough to talk about their failures, of course we relate to it. We live with our own failures every single day, so it's refreshing to hear other people own up to their imperfections. Al Alvarez once said, the better the artist, the more vulnerable he seems to be. There is some kind of connection between greatness and vulnerability. But why is that? Well, it's because our humanity and our willingness to display our humanity without fear of judgment is what actually attracts other people to us. So go ahead, give it a shot. You may find that the very thing you're afraid to share is what would actually help people the most. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. I want to take a moment to let you know about our daily writer membership community. You know, one of the very best ways to develop better habits and impact more people's lives with your writing is to spend time around other successful writers. So if you're tired of feeling isolated and chasing success on your own, then I know you're going to love the daily writer community. For years, I searched for the kind of writing community that I would want to join, but I could never find what I wanted. So I created my own. Some of the features include weekly writing sprints, monthly community calls, book discussions, calls with guest experts, and much more. For more info, you can visit dailywriterlife.com slash community. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.